So this shot right here was extended with generative fill. AI is pretty fucking crazy. What I'm about to show you is the first thing that I've seen that can actually do something for video. Now I can utilize AI as part of the final product in video. Photoshop, generative fill, few clicks of a button and a camera could not shoot this shot. It's pretty cool. This is literally my first test. Brought it into DaVinci Resolve, graded it, exported a frame, brought it into Photoshop, increased the canvas size by 10 times, and then filled in the edges bit by bit. Then exported that frame from Photoshop, brought it into DaVinci Resolve, put it underneath the footage, and positioned the footage back over top. Here's an example where I didn't type anything. I just extended it by a little bit. Here's an example where I kind of changed this lens into something that's closer to like a 12 millimeter. Here's an example where I went way out. So in a scenario where the camera's on a tripod just like this, it works well. And I'm on a table right here, so it's not having to fill in like any body, which is not the best at doing body right now, but the edges of the frame is working pretty nicely. you can remove elements from the frame. So I'll put this glass of water right here. If I didn't want that there, you can select it in Photoshop, type nothing and see what it fills it with. You can type remove and see what it fills it with. The size of your selection matters, how far you dig into the original image. In this image, for example, when I was filling in and expanding the edges with the selection tool, I cut in a little bit because the vignette I did not want included. So I cut in like right above my head and maybe to like here so that the vignette wasn't included. So it could kind of just extend, but Every pixel difference that you do is different. As you regenerate, it's different. Sometimes you could just type nothing and just keep hitting generate and it will get you something that works. Then you can expand it again. So I have found going little bits at a time works best. Up until right now, utilizing these AI technologies has kind of just been experimentation for me. But with Photoshop's generative AI, I can start working on footage. This stuff is moving so fast and it hasn't really hit video yet, but when it does, it's gonna be crazy. What happens when Adobe puts that into Premiere? What happens when Resolve implements that and After Effects and Blender and everything? I consider this an indication of what's to come. It's the first usable thing that I can merge footage that's actually shot with AI. I can shoot something, click a button and have that footage augmented. If you don't take advantage of this period of time where it's not done yet, you will be missing out when it's done. It is very important to learn how to communicate and learn how to prompt and develop a style. And once this stuff is really popping, imagine a year from now. A year ago in Mid Journey, I could type people at a party. It would look like the most weird cut out from paper, like not realistic people a month or so ago. I was working on people at a nightclub or a party, posted it on my Instagram, most liked photo that I ever posted on Instagram. Nobody knew it was AI. Since then, it's improved beyond that. I have created images that nobody would be able to distinguish from a photograph. So that happened in less than a year and a lot of other software and technology has come out since then. In a year from now, in two years from now, in three years from now, if you are in this industry and you don't know how to use this, you are literally f 